Aloha and welcome to Life Journaling in Dash for the 15th of March. The year is 2022. We're your host, I'm David. Next to me is Hannah. Across the table is the other golden, Ollie, looking right at you. And Uvella is behind her. Today we're looking at Deuteronomy's chapters 28 and 29 and also reading Galatians chapter 6. And before we start this, which I'm calling We Need to Stay Strong, I'm going to ask you, Yvella, to lead us in prayer. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for today. Thank you for your many blessings. As always, thank you for your word to help us to understand you better. We ask that what we study today, that you help us help it to make us to grow stronger in you. In your name we pray, amen. Amen. Would you like to go first? No, go ahead. Okay, so I'm calling this one, We Need to Stay Strong, pulling from Galatians chapters 6 but verse 9 and 10 let us not become weary in doing good for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up therefore as we have opportunity let us do good to all people especially those who belong to the family of believers christ followers and my observation is paul wants to encourage us and for us not to give up following god and doing good we need to help other people, especially those who are believers in God, such as ourselves, David and Yvela. Application. I see myself attempting to follow God by being in his word every day, but also being in the world, not of the world. I want to do like Paul says, stay strong in my walk with God and encourage others in their walk. So if you're listening to this or watching this, we're trying to encourage you. We need to make the most of each and every day and not hold back thinking we will talk or text friends and family later because if COVID has taught us anything, it is that there's no promise of tomorrow. So be encouraged, my fellow believers, as we uh, have a promise of an eternal life in heaven. My prayer, Lord, help me to stay strong in my walk and to not waste time stressing over things that will not matter in a year or five years. Use me now to bear fruit and to be an encourager of others who then turn and share about you with still more people. Help me to be a better teacher and example for you, Lord. Amen, Pastor David. I've never known you to stress over anything. Oh, I do. Um, I right away try to give it to God, though, because there's so many things in this world that I cannot handle that I just try to give it to God immediately and say, Lord, I'm, I'm giving that to you. You see Hannah right here? Well, she's very loving today. She's very loving today. She loves to lick and show you how much she loves you. Let me go back to that about not stressing. What was a big change for me was when uh, I read or heard one time that if God takes care of little birds, he'll take care of you. And that's why I leave it on. Okay. Mine is uh, Galatians 6, 4. Each one should test their own actions. Then they can take pride in themselves alone without comparing themselves to others. Uh, my observation, Paul is telling the Galatians not to be boastful or judgmental. Each person should examine their own life and not compare themselves to others. When we compare ourselves to others, we either become boastful thinking we are better than someone or we condemn ourselves because we do not compare to the other person's achievements. Therefore, we should not compare ourselves to others because it leads us down wrong paths. My application. I think this is something I've learned over the years. I know it be it's because of the time I've spent reading the Bible. I do examine myself daily when it comes to my actions, reactions, and attitudes towards life. But I have learned that I cannot compare myself to others because it causes a downhill slide in my attitude towards myself. Instead, I examine and discuss my actions with God, and then I thank God for who I am and how he made me. It has taken me years to get to this point, but I know the scripture. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. Psalms one thirty nine fourteen. Prayer. Thank you, Lord, for setting up the guardrails for us and telling us not to compare ourselves to others. Comparing ourselves to others can lead to being boastful or depressed about who we are. 
Thank you for telling us that we are your workmanship and that we are cre and that your creation is always beautiful. Amen. What is one of your guardrails? You say you have guardrails to help you. What's one of them? Uh, one is journaling every day. Um, that it has to be something. A guardrail keeps you on the right path. On the right road. Um, because you and I have experienced in a 36 foot RV going on curvy roads with hit cliffs that go way down into the canyon without guardrails and turn it the Oregon coast oh I'm thinking of that Delabo Delabo whatever that canyon oh Devil's Diablo can yes. Diablo's canyon yeah yeah we, there was that where there were no guardrails in one false turn would send you down that ravine and it was so scary thank you gps um so <laughs> guardrails keep you on the road i know having a guardrail on that road would have been so wonderful guardrails keep you on the right path so one of your guardrails is to be in the word or journal every day mm -hmm. using soap which is the scripture observation application and prayer and yesterday you mentioned to the listeners and the people that were watching something about a challenge well just a you know 30-day challenge for like i said i know what it's like to have a real busy life and um so i counted it up it's about 34 days between now and Easter. So we still have time for this 30 day challenge. Well, like I said, if you only have time just to read the the New Testament through our journey, that's fine. But it's taken me a long time to not compare myself to others and say, God, what you made was, is beautiful. So God created me, but I could not have come to that point if I have not read over and over and over what God thinks of me. You've been journaling for 20 years. Can you imagine not starting to journal and what it's meant to your life? Well, <clears throat> I, I couldn't imagine, but the thing is, is that I think of the time that one time I read in Dear Abby about this person who was, you know, 65 years old and wanted to go back to college. And she said, if you start now, where will you be in five years? If you don't start now, where will you be in five years? So the thing is, is you start now. You don't look back in the past and say, oh, I should have done this earlier, or I didn't do this. You just start, start now. And the bottom line is you just start reading however you're gonna do this. But there's a 30 day challenge now from Life Journaling Dash to all of you listening or watching this podcast and vlog that uh, you would come along with us for the next 30 days leading up to Easter, you know, this is something that we can add to our schedule to do that will draw us closer to the sacrifice made by Jesus on the cross that we celebrate at Easter. So how do you do it? You can go to the Facebook group, Life Journaling and Dash. You can Google it. There's a lot of churches that use uh, Life Journaling soap devotional so when you say google it what do you google you go to your computer and you type in life journaling soap because there's a lot of people that teach you how to do life journaling to have a better life this is not like that this is using scripture observation application and prayer so we call it soap you should use soap every day so this is a method of you using whatever Bible you're using, Espanol, whatever, NIV, NASB, there's a lot of them out there. But the point of it is that you'd be reading every day, you're meeting with God, you're having that appointment with Him. And uh, I think from past history, it would show you people that would take this challenge will be different. How it will affect Every individual person will be different because God will work with you through you. But I can't imagine not being the same person if you take the challenge and journal for 30 days straight. And speaking of that, we'd like to join us for tomorrow. Yeah, we're going into 1 Corinthians or Corinthians number one. 
Also, Psalms 40 and Deuteronomy chapter 30 and 31. Correct. And I'll close this in prayer. Father God, thank you so much for giving us time to meet each day. Um, thank you for sharing your gold nuggets of truth with us that are found in Scripture. We ask everybody to be encouraged during the next 30 days as we lead up to Easter to celebrate your son Jesus dying on the cross for us. We ask this in your name. Amen.